pitched for Yak Gulps, and now he's trying to get to the big leagues in the USA. Cubs are giving him a chance. Lim working on Carlos Baguero, who's one for two today with a single and an RBI. And Lim is into his motion, and here's his pitch, and it is swung out and pulled on the ground at first. And Uh, the Iowa Cubs have built this lead with homers. They have hit six of them today. The most home runs hit by a Tacoma opponent since Albuquerque did it against the Red Ears. Amazingly enough, uh, two years ago to the day today, August 6th of 2011 was when Albuquerque did it. That gets an asterisk, though, because it was in Albuquerque where the ball flies out of there, as we will see on Thursday. Here's the pitch to Poitras, and it's taken outside for a ball. That game where Albuquerque hit the six home runs, they scored 20 runs. The Iowa Cubs have only 10 runs with their six homers. Here's the pitch to Poitras, and it is taken down low for a ball. How about these names of the isotopes who hit six home runs against the Red Ears two years ago? Jamie Hoffman hit two of them. We saw him in the PCL earlier this year. Now the 2-0 is fouled away by Poitras. Russ Mitchell hit two home runs for Albuquerque. I don't remember what happened to him. He, he had a good year that year for the Isotopes. Jerry Sands hit one out. He also had a good year for him that year. It surfaced in the big leagues. I haven't seen his name this season. And then Joe Becker, utility infielder, hit their other home. Six home runs. They hit them all in the first four innings. That was the amazing thing about that game. Two hunt pitch fouled away. Albuquerque hit six home runs in four innings and had all 20 of their runs in the first four. It's a game worth remembering strictly for the oddity of it. Chris Seddon was the right here starting pitcher. He pitched a scoreless inning in the first and didn't it faced only three hitters. That's how it started. They would get to 20 by the end of the fourth inning. So here's the 2-2 to Poitras, and it is fouled away. Seddon gave up four runs in the second inning, including a three-run homer to Jamie Hoffman. And he can shake that off. It's Albuquerque. Plus, at the end of the second, the Raiders had a 5-4 lead. And then the Raiders got two runs in the top of the third. So we went to the bottom of the third inning, and the Raiders were ahead 7-4, and we had no idea what was about to happen. Now here's Lim with his 2-2 pitch on the way to Poitras. And it is outside for a ball, 3-2. Albuquerque then scored 11 runs in the bottom of the third inning, sending 14 batters to the plate. Seven of the first nine reached, and then three of the next four homered. In their second trip through the lineup, they had three homers. 3-2 pitch to Poitras, fouled back. Chris said and didn't retire a batter in the third. They brought in Chaz Rowe, who's now in the big leagues with the Arizona Diamondbacks. And Rowe gave up all those homers and then gave up two more homers in the fourth. As Albuquerque scored five more in the fourth to take a 20-7 lead. And then the teams just quit and no one scored for the rest of the game. They're like, this one's over. Let's get out of here and make outs. 3-2 pitch, swing, and a foul away again by Poitras. So Chris Seddon started, went two innings, and allowed 11 runs. And then Chaz Rowe followed and went three innings and allowed nine runs. And that included a scoreless inning at the end of his day. He actually allowed the nine runs in his first two innings. Yeah, a terrible game to have to remember. Two years ago today, the last time the right here is allowed six homers in a game. Poitras hits another foul ball. Still three balls, two strikes to the Tacoma first baseman who's trying to avoid a golden sombrero. He already has a tricky hat. He does not want a shiny one. 3-2 pitch on the way from Lim. 
There it comes. And it is swung on, hit in the air to right field, playable for Dave Sapelt near the foul line, and he makes the catch. And there is the second out in the bottom of the eighth. Poitras flies out to right field. Here's Nate Tenbrake, who needs a triple to hit for the cycle. He is singled, doubled, and homered. Chang Yang Lim into his wind, and the pitch is inside for a ball, 1-0. and oh. One and oh the count. And now Lim into his motion, and his next pitch is low. Two balls, no strikes. pitch. Swing and a miss. A vicious hack from Tenbrink, but he comes up empty. And the count goes to two and one. Two outs, bottom of the eighth, 10-3 Iowa. And Chang Young Lim is into his motion and his pitch is a swing and a miss and the count is even two and two. Two-two, call to strike three, and down goes Tenbrink, and down go the right ears in the bottom of the eighth inning. Three up, three down. We head to the ninth with the score: Iowa ten, Tacoma three. <laughs> 